Coming up on Press This, this week we look at contact forms made by ninjas. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Beautiful day here on the South Coast, Dan. Good mm. to see you. This is the show where we take all things WordPress. Uh, put them together, do some reviews, do some uh, 30,000 foot looks and, and views at themes and plugins and all that fun WordPress stuff. I uh, hope you make it a little bit easier for you to, to either sell WordPress, use WordPress, do whatever you're doing Absolutely. with WordPress because we love the software. Uh, Slocumstudio.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. Go ahead and hit subscribe in YouTube uh, because we want to hit over a thousand fans. Uh, if you love what we're doing, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you want to see, plugins, Absolutely. themes, whatever you got. If, if you do that, we may be able to show you some stuff like today's plugin, Ooh. which is... We've received a lot more comments than we're used to, which is fantastic. We'd love for you to keep them coming. It gives us some great stuff to look at. This week, we haven't looked at contact forms in quite a while. Since, since the very early since days. Since like the first couple episodes. Since the first episode, actually. I think the first episode was Cue the Dream Music going back in space. Um, gra uh, cont Gravity Forms versus Contact Forms 7. Maybe. Maybe the Just first one. Maybe. But today we're talking about a new one. It's called Ninja Forms. This comes from the WP Ninjas. Uh, it has 63,000 downloads on the WordPress repository, a 4.6 out of 5 star rating. And the reason it's on the WordPress repository in the first place is because it's a freemium plugin, which mm -hmm. I think is a really cool concept. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if you want to talk about that now or later. Yeah, so I mean... Let's get that off the... Yeah, yeah let's get that out of the way. The... Um so that's a hot topic. As I tell you, our good buddy Jason Coleman mm -hmm. of um, Paid Membership Pro mm -hmm. does this. Yeah. Gives a plug it away for the support. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Gives it away for free. And now he's starting to integrate a few more yes. premium mm -hmm. features right, into right. the right. into the paid plugin. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the kind of plugin that you buy for free. You get like eighty percent of what you need to get done. Like, hey, I just need to make a simple contact form. Boom. You use Ninja Forms. You install. It's free. Yeah. It's good. And then. You say, oh, I want to integrate into MailChimp or I want to integrate into PayPal or some mm -hmm. other payment gateway thing. Right. Then you can go and back and buy the right. extensions for smaller amounts of money. And it's such a perfect system, too, because with freemium, especially on the WordPress uh, format, you're able to go on to the bustling WordPress repository network of these plugins and search for a contact mm -hmm. form. You can then find this form and it's free. Why not try it out? Right. Now you have it. Hey, it works really well and I like it, but... I could use the MailChimp extension or whatever it may be. And hey, conveniently, right within to your app, there's your there's your $18, $39, in this case, you know, $18, $39, there's one that's $78 uh, extension mm -hmm. that you can uh, that you can implement into your into your plugin. Yeah. Business model wise, I have my own podcast, MattReport.com, where we talk about things about like mm -hmm. well, why you should do freemium right. versus non freemium or paid commercial, right. all this stuff. Um, that's a show about WordPress entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. This one's a little, di this is a little bit different. I think most folks are going to hear freemium and be like, yay on this show, right? Yeah. Because I, I just want to try it. And well, why not? Here, here's the thing that, that we cover a lot on the other podcast is developers and people who are using WordPress out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they got their own little collection, their right. own toolkit mm -hmm. of things that they, they might have nin uh, Ninja forms and yeah. gravity forms yeah, sure. and might use that with one client and gravity forms on another. Right. Um, WP e-commerce on one client. WooCommerce on another. Right. This theme on that one, you know, this stuff isn't super expensive, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you're out there reselling services. So, you know, why not have a collection of stuff and then just dip into your bag when you need something that fits the bill? Right. A $200 developer license to Gravity Forms might sound like expensive at the get go, but <clears throat> when you're making all your clients fall in love with you because they can put in a simple contact form or something like that, it's not really that big of a deal. Right. Right. For that one time fee. Yeah. So we're looking at pl uh, extensions on this. Uh, uh, extensions or add-ons, they call them. Uh, they're the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. If uh, you've seen any of our other episodes, we invite you to look at some others. We, we talk about this kind of stuff all the time. Yeah. Too. So, I mean, some are 18, some are 39, some yeah. are 78. Yeah. Um, but like you said, um, take a look at that in a second. Things that we like right off the top of the, right off the top, MailChimp, uh, analytics, um, conditional logic stuff. Yeah. Um, hey, look, if you're used to Gravity Forms and you're used to that kind of drag and drop yes. um, way of working with a form builder, mm -hmm. 
this does the same thing. Yep. Um, in that in that regard, mm -hmm. um, looks very very similar. Um, you're making all the same, um, you know, conditional things. Yeah. Uh, one thing is pretty cool. Like I'm looking over at yeah. on Dan's screen yeah. is you can actually star the field. So like, yes. what's your most important field? You can kind of come back uh, as a favorite field and either um, be able to quickly edit that or, or copy that onto another form. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, I do like that. That's really really neat. A really nice little little thing. I like how built into it they have a little they have the tabulation set perfectly. It's really really clean looking. It's one of those. You, you probably have used to, if you've had plugins on your WordPress, seeing those very clean, um, well laid out sort of formats, uh, similar like a Woo, a Woo themes kind of thing. Yeah. And it's the same here. You have your form settings. You can preview it right from there in its own separate box. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think that when you great. look at, when you take a step back and you say, well, why this contact form mm -hmm. over gravity forms? Right. Um, you know, gravity forms is one of those plugins that started as a regular contact mm -hmm. form. Right. And now has really dug its roots into WordPress. Like you can do a lot with user registration, yep. profiles. Mm -hmm. You can they have all these other add-ons so that you can that you can access, and it does a lot more uh, logically mm -hmm. and for developers than just a person who needs a contact right, form. Right, 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 right. And I think if I were to look at who's a competitor to Gravity Forms, mm -hmm. I see Ninja Forms going in that that direction. They've right. got the front end editor. Yep. Um, extension which is 78 bucks and that's a lot of the stuff that people in using gravity forms like they like to be able to create right. users and create custom right. post types right. this is all really deep stuff um, so if you're looking for just I need somebody to contact me this right. is still a great solution right. down the road I think a year year and a half from now you're going to see some some stern competition from Right. the ninjas to yeah. the gravity guys it's typical like you're gonna <clears throat> and again you can fall into that trap where now you've bought into this sort of ecosystem yes and you're buying these plugins or these excuse me these extensions i knew i was gonna say it at least once in this uh uh and wow i just spent you know 220 dollars to get this up the ground running with all the plugins i uh, extensions i needed Ugh. yeah uh or I could have just bought Gravity Forms, you know, last year and and saved myself twenty bucks. You know yeah. I mean? So it's one of those things. Yeah. You kind of think about. Yeah, I mean, so if you're, I guess, if you're kind of new to the Gravity Forms yeah. or you're making your decision, um, you know, this is a great tool to make the basic form, um, and to um, do some more complex right. stuff. Um, you know, we will tell you that if you're giving this stuff to your clients and you're telling your clients, you know, hey, go ahead and make forms. Yeah, it's easy. This drag and drop stuff is easy for us because yeah. we're kind of into this. But right. when you get down to somebody who's really not in, like they get scared of the WordPress editor, right. even this one has a lot of stuff in there. There might be a better contact form solution sure. that just says name, you know, email address, right. you know, comment. That's mm -hmm. it. This is still kind of complex. Right. If you were to take that and you drag this over here, then is this required? You know, yes, all these yeah. options. And then in a year from now, this is probably going to be even more complex yeah. just because it's going to be so feature rich. But are they going to convolute it or are they going to make it right. sort of just a, another <clears throat> thing you can have if you're a developer? Right. So, I mean, I, I like it. It's quick, it's light, it's fast yeah. from a developer standpoint. Yep. And if I'm working on a site and I just need to really quickly test something as a contact, mm -hmm. boom, I just install it and I'm yep. off and running. Yep. So, I mean, I, I really like it. Yeah. I mean, just. Do you find it easy to, to navigate for you? Yeah, it's pretty easy to navigate. Um, I think I prefer the where the Gravity Forms has a little implementation um, anywhere on your post. Yeah. And a button where this one, you just sort of append it to your to your form. So what you do is you basically select the form, and then when you um, when you take a look at it on the page, it basically shows up traditionally on the bottom of your on the bottom of your post. Interesting. Right so go back to the editor real mm -hmm. quick. Sure. And we're just looking on Dan's uh, screen and kind of looking at the post now. What I, it's funny you bring that up because yeah. what I was going to say that I like about it mm -hmm. uh, is the fact that you can, um, is that it right there? No, that's, that's the WordPress built-in one okay. with 3.5. All right. So what you can actually do is if you go to forms, mm -hmm. if you're looking at all your forms on the page, yep. it has the short codes that right. you can just copy and paste. Right. So you can copy that short code and put it right into the editor. Okay. So it doesn't right. have to be attached right. like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so that's kind of cool. But you can also just append it to the end, which is nice. Right, but that's going to put it at the end. Correct. I and mean, not, not a lot of people don't want that right. to be at the end of their page. Right, so if it's a, like a, a sales page or something right. like that, then you're going to have the form down at the bottom. Right. 
Um, whereas this one, you can just right. you, if you grab the short code, you can paste it. Right and that in. always works every time, which is yeah. nice. Uh, and you can just do it that way, or you can literally just create the pa the post or the page, not even have any text, and just append the form. And if your form is all set up to be like a, a good contact page for contact, like literally just contacting somebody, exactly. Yep, it, it kind of works no, for you. Yeah, way. Good. so it gives you the options. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. So I mean, we like it. We get the thumbs up. I think it's one of those plugins. Like, hey, it's yeah. if you're new to this and you don't already own or you're not invested into another contact form, this is a great solution yeah. for. You. No, um, if you're a seasoned veteran and you've already got gravity forms and you got solutions, hey, this is something to take a look at. Might you might yeah. like it. You might I, like the lightweight yeah. side of it. I would honestly say though, uh, from from you know what we've seen of gravity forms in the past, if you already have gravity forms, my personal recommendation is stick with gravity forms and yeah. just and just and just use it. Yeah. Uh, if you want, if you're a developer and you want to have different options, maybe a client likes something a little bit nicer about this one. Some of the front end editing stuff that you can show them. Hey, maybe get that for that. But. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, if you want to see other plugins, let us know in the comments. Uh, we're always interested to see what people are using out there. We get some weird requests yeah. sometimes, some really, uh, you know, really niche stuff that I don't think that the audience would uh, particularly like. Um, but, uh, you yeah. know, we'll take a look at it. We'll maybe, maybe one day we'll just wake up and be like, I have nothing. I have <laughs> yeah, nothing. I know. And then we'll have to go yeah, back. It's a weird thing. You yeah, know, so. We'll have to go back and, and pull those Let us know what you want to see. Uh, hit subscribe. Want to hit over a thousand fans? Do you like what we're doing? Yes, no? Let us know. Uh, hit subscribe. Want to hit those thousand fans? We got special stuff coming for when we hit over a thousand fans. Mm -hmm. uh, and oh, by the way, we do WordPress stuff, slocumstudio.com. We get some WordPress themes, some hosting. And if you need help with your WordPress, issue mm -hmm. what is it i don't even understand how to do this uh check out our launch uh session where we'll sit down with you consult with you for an hour pull up your screen on the site and help you step by step uh what you can do to make that site better Absolutely. quicker faster whatever you need mm -hmm. thanks awesome. everybody thanks guys